So this area is one of the most flood-prone regions in the United States. There's some critical infrastructure of industry along the Houston Shipping Channel. There's oil refineries and a lot of important industrial facilities there. We're concerned with modeling the Galveston Bay region and the Shipping Channel region because if a hurricane was to directly hit that area, the Shipping Channel, and further up into the city of Houston, then that would be a real problem in terms of cost and damages. Hurricane Ike made landfall over Galveston Island on September 13th, 2008, and it produced uh, about 10 to 20 feet of surge along the upper Texas coast and the inland. Ike was a very significant storm to hit that region. There's been a lot of what's called validation between the model and the historical storm data that was um, recorded in the terms of hydrographs or maximum surge elevation. So for Ike itself, compared against the model, we've done quite a good job of validating that and ensuring that the model is capturing uh, the major features. If we want to get any sort of accuracy for what's happening in the storm surge, we really have to have quite a bit of resolution in uh, our computational model. So our elements are down to a very small level so we can actually see the shipping channel which isn't even that wide and that we can capture the topography in that region. There's been a number of proposed strategies for mitigating the risk of storm surge and protecting those areas. There's extending what's currently there of the Galveston seawall which was built after the devastating 1900 storm. Also adding levees to different areas of the Galveston region and incorporating gates so that regular daily flow of, of traffic is not interfered with, but those gates are closed when a, when a storm impacts the region.